what is up guys do me a quick favor subscribe and like and we're reviewing Sabretooth War Part 8 here. Now, if you haven't seen uh, Sabretooth War Part 7, click on the link above. It's there so that you can, you know, have a review and come back here to Part 8, Wolverine Issue 48 by Percy. Now, we find ourselves in the Exile ship in the Maroon North Pacific, deep below Krokoa. Forge Secret Lab. Now, we, we are, you know, obviously Wolverine is resting. You know, he um, he got beat up pretty bad in his last outing, and it doesn't help that he doesn't have his power. As you know, he got hit by the Forge Gun, which took away his healing powers, and he doesn't have that healing powers now. And he's resting here, and he's basically, you know. Um, saying that he's reminiscing about all the violence that just happened to him and that everything he sees now is red and in comparison of him you know next to that is Creed Sabretooth and we get into Sabretooth's mindset also he's saying that everything has been coming up roses for him which is interesting right now Wolverine takes us back here to you know to his past where he's saying that you know he's, he's felt a lot of pain fueled by rage you know um his past where you know he, he he had multiple lovers that you know died obviously creed killed a few of them you know um he's talking about his past where you know he has seen a lot of suffering and also there's a lot of good out there and it's worth fighting for you know such as joining the X-Men and having friends in the X-Men. Now, Sabretooth here, it's basically saying that, you know, um, that he was a prisoner himself also, that he didn't quite live, you know, the perfect lives, you know. He here it says, every day comes with a trap door into the alligator pit, and I'm effing sick to death of it, you know. So he didn't have also, a roller coaster of a ride in his life you know and it's funny that the writer is comparing these two because it is they're they're like the yin and yang you know they are essential um different but they also need each other you know um saber tooth and wolverine they're very alike you know and that's what they're arch they are the arch enemies of each other now we continue here and you know basically wolverine is taking us into his past here he says he says you spend a lot of my life trying to be alone because i'm worried about others getting hurt you know so you know that's the main reason why he's always alone he's always worried that somebody's gonna get hurt but then he realizes here that the risk you know of them getting hurt and you know me being happy with them is worth it it's worth taking that risk and all of a sudden he wakes up and you know he's he's real he's realizing here telling the uh, aurora um the exile member here that you know he's got something to fight for now you know he's remembering that there's something to fight for and saber tooth here you know he's also remembering that uh, he started this war with an army but now he's alone you know and um they're both getting ready for war i guess you know now we get we move on into the Orcus Station 5, Sabretooth home base, where X, X-23 here is fighting Bad Seed, the future Sabretooth. And basically, she just got done calling X-Force. And she's saying here that she disabled the clo clogging me mechanism, which allows the Stark Sentinels to see the ship and as i can imagine the stark sentinels think that this is obviously a enemy ship and they're gonna attack that ship and x-23 goes for a jump here escaping the wrath of bad seed you know bad seed here said is, is he seeing the sentinels coming straight at him and he doesn't seem very phased about it on wolverine here he's back to you know the uh the ship here and he's he's basically realizing that 
he's human now. He's no longer the Wolverine. He doesn't have the power. He's mortal. So, you know, anything can kill him now. And um, he has a plan. You know, they're on the coast of Alaska here. And um, he's got, you know, he's got a plan there. And basically, um, Negra here, the exile member, <laughs> she's cold as hell and she's complaining, you know. Um, but Wolverine says, you know, I can use the help. You know, I need you, you all to be there. You know, Creed, you know, might be off the table. That's what he says, but we've got a whole army of Sabretooth to take down. And um, yeah, they, they, need, they need the help. Now, Third Eye here is sensing something and he falls. And basically he's saying that, you know, Victor Creed might be gone, but something much worse has replaced him. And we turn to this page here with Bad Seed. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm telling you, Bad Seed looked like the main final boss, main bad guy. And he is just that. Because look at him. He's jumping off the ship. And he's destroying all these Sentinels. These Stark Sentinels. Like, it was nothing. Like, you know, um, like he doesn't worry about them, about the power that they have. He knows he could handle it. And even here, you know... Um, the, the, the saber tooth on the ship is saying they can't be beaten and Bad, Bad Seed is telling him don't worry about me Camel worry about the station and he's destroying them and he's taking over one of the Senno um, body um, one of the Senno robots and he's using that robot to destroy the other, other Senno's very genius he basically hacked in and he's saying here that mastering Orcus tech is about as hard as learning the alphabet song. So he hacked in there and now he's controlling a big robot. You know, he's very, you know, he's powerful and now he has a whole Stark Sentinel at his disposal, you know. And he's destroying every other Sentinels. And X-23 is laying on the ground and she's seeing the whole thing. And she's saying here, are we screwed? We might be screwed. I mean, look at the blood on her face. She, <laughs> she looks, you know, beat up. She looks desperate. You know, it's and this, this might be the end, right? Now, we move on to Wolverine's, um, you know, island here in Alaska, and he's basically telling them, uh, when I was on Krokwa, I had some gates planted here. One of them that here, there's a bunker at the center of the island, and we need to get there. But it's dangerous, you know. Um, there's, as you can tell, there's a lot of bears, a lot of nature animals, and they're attacking and Wolverine, you know, he's fighting them as a human. But Negra is also fighting and backing up Wolverine, and the other exile member are helping out. And Wolverine is like over here, and he's leading them into this bunker. And he says here that I asked Forge to build me something, something that anticipated it a day like this will come a moment a moment when I, I all was lost including my powers and we move on to the north pole the greenhouse well where, where laura is not laura where the the x-force members are and they're suiting up they're ready to go you know but they don't have a jet plane so they don't know how to get there so they asked tom to transform into this plant transportation vessel and uh, they're gonna get on with it you know and then Phoebe here has got an emergency call uh, from Laura and she she's getting one from Quinton also and she's saying that Quinton basically is saying you know we need your help Laura is in grave danger I can hear everything in the island but but that's not our only problem and we see a hand a huge hand coming out of that huge plant and that's Sabretooth getting out you know, now the last scene here, we move into Wolverine in Alaska and he comes out and the exile member are like, that's more like it. Damn, <laughs> damn is right. And Wolverine here is saying, this is adamantium armor. That is a Muramasa blade, one of the strongest blade in the world. I'm still hard to kill. Let's go find a fight. And that is the end of the comics. I mean, what an ending. I'm telling you, Wolverine is where it's at. 
you know, um, Saber Tooth War is a great story, probably one of the best I've read in the entire Wolverine saga, you know, and now he's got this armor looking like a badass with the Mura Muramasa blade, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, this is what comic book is all about, action, you know, uh, powers and great storyline and this is this is it right there but with that in mind guys thank you for listening and uh, i'll check well you know i'll check with you guys again uh, some other times and i'll see you guys soon peace out